Our first question is from Al. He says, hey guys, first I want to mention I am glad that Rodrigo's diagonal runs into the box are creating goals. I started noticing after you guys mentioned it on the podcast at the beginning of the season and how in the first goal, the run also created space for Benzema in the far post. My question is, what is Fede Valverde's best position? In a previous podcast, you guys mentioned that being a versatile player will affect him negatively just like Saul. Can you explain how in more detail? Interesting. I think that it's quite clear that his best position is as a central midfielder, having the ability to to use his physicality, his work rate, and and also his ability to to, to reach the box and and pretty much finish plays there. I think that obviously his his work rate can also <clears throat> deploy him as a as a false right winger, which is pretty much the the position he's been playing at. For the last few for the last few weeks since Ancelotti introduced this quote unquote four four two formation, but I think it's it's quite clear that the central midfielder spot is the one that suits suits him best, and I don't think he's also suited to to play uh, the Casemiro role, given that he's not a particularly great passer. Even though I don't think he's a great distributor of the ball to be. Real Madrid's first passer, so I don't think that's a, that's also a, a very good spot for him. So it's quite clear for me that his best position would be the Modric one when when the the, the Croatian star declines and and he's not able to to play as many games as he is right now. I think it's quite clear. Yeah, the I guess the point about um, being versatile affecting him negatively. It what is meant by that is that. It's kind of an unfair situation to be in, but when you're so good at so many different things, I, I, f- I feel like you almost get unfairly punished and not in like an intentional way where it's like, okay, now I'm going to ruin your career type of way. But it's just that when you're good at a lot of things, you're often not playing in your best position because the coach kind of martyrs you into filling all these different positions that you need help with. You know, <clears throat> uh, I think that actually in a different way, affects Marco Llorente in a negative way too, where he's like playing mm-hmm. so much at right back when that's not his best role. And he's not really able to to actually leave a, a proper influence to his best capacity. Although he is playing well, he is putting a positive impact, but it, you're kind of holding him back. It's the same way with, uh, uh, to a different degree, also Kamavinga, the anchor role. He does some things yeah. well there. And some fans may take away from that, like, okay, look, he can play defensive midfielder role. And then some, like, 10 years later, maybe maybe get stuck in that role. I actually, the the biggest example I can think of off the fly for this particular um, conversation is Ivan Helguera, who for a year or two there was a double pivot alongside Claude Makaleli and was just incredible, one of the best defensive midfielders in the, ro- in the world at that year. But we were also so thin defensively because Hierro was old and everyone else kind of sucked. Ivan Campo, mm-hmm. Aitor Karanka, uh, anyone basically who was in that era who came and went, Pavon. And because of that, Helger, Helger had to play in a more defensive role. And he was, he was fine, but he just was never the same. He never had the same kind of influence. Um, and I think Fede Valverde playing right wing, he does fine there, but it's not his best position the same way. Like I, I agree with you. I think his best position is center midfielder. And that box-to-box role, not as a DM, not as an AM, but someone who can do a bunch of things. He can carry the ball. He can help you defensively. He's still a pretty good passer. Um, he's a good ball carrier. He's like a pretty good dribbler too. But again, he's not going to necessarily play like Modric too. So... The Modric position, but not the Modric role, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, yeah. So he's not going to be like someone who's going to create all that much offensively, but he can in certain ways. 